All right, we are looking at CC3. This is section 3.1.1, and this is number 3-6, okay? So Mrs. Nguyen needs to separate $385 into three parts to pay for some debts. The second part must be five times as large as the first part, and the third part must be 35 more than the first part. How much money must be in each part? Wants us to write and solve an equation. So we could get right to the equation by defining a variable and building the terms and expressions to write that equation. But for us to be able to see the pattern, I prefer to start with a guess and check table. So I have three parts. The first part, I have the second part, and the third part. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and set that up as a table. And then my check, so this is going to be the guessing part. And then my check over here, my check part is going to be the finding the total, right? It tells me the total is equal to $385, All right? So if we look into, uh, let's see, a first guess. Let's make it, uh, say, 30 $30 is my first guess. So... It says that the second part is five times as large as the first part. So that means I'm multiplying by five. I've got to take that first, multiply by five, five times as large. So that'd be 150. And then the third part, it says the third part is 35 more than the first part. More than is adding 35. So 30 plus 35 is 65. So if I add all those up, 30 plus 150 plus 65, what do I get? Uh, looks like I get uh, 245, and that's too low. All right, so I got to guess higher. So let's guess 40. So again, if I guess 40 for my first part, my second part is five times. So I'm multiplying by five, 200. And then my third part is 35 more than. So it's 40 plus 35 to get 75. Add those up. The 40 plus the 200 plus the 75. That's going to give me 315. Still a little too low. Okay. So let's go 50. So if I guess 50. So again, 5 times would be 250. And then... 35 more would be add 35, so that's 85. And if I add those up, 50 plus 250 plus 85 equals, there it is, 385. So that's my check. So I, I have my answer, right? So how much money is in each part? I know it's $50 in part one, 250 in part two, and 85 in part three. But the point here is we, we need to get to this equation piece. So I wanted to show the guess and check to see the pattern so you can see how the equation is built. So we'll show the equation and solve the equation is what it also wanted us to do. So the equation, I was guessing my first part to be X every time. And then what did I do? I took that X, I took that first part, I multiplied it by five to find the second part. So that's gonna be five X. Right? When you multiply a number times a variable, put the number in front as the coefficient. Then in the third part, I took the first part and added 35. So I took each of these numbers and added 35 to get those numbers. So here's my number X. I'm going to add to it 35. So that's the term or the expression that is represented by my third part. And then what did I do for the check? I took each of these individual numbers and added them up. So my equation really is the check. It's this x, the first part, plus 5x, the second part, plus x plus 35, which is that third part. And all of that needed to equal 385 for us to be right. So that's where the equation comes from. So this right here is the equation that they said we needed to build. That's the equation. Then it wanted us to solve the equation, right? So solve the equation. How, how do you solve an equation? Well, remember the first step is to combine like terms. So if I have an X, a 5X, and an X, 
Altogether, that's 7x plus 35 equals 385. Then it's getting that x alone is the process of solving. So I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides. You get rid of the, the constant value to get that variable expression alone. So I end up with 385 minus 35 on this side, which is 350. And then getting the variable alone is dividing out the um, coefficient. So divide both sides by the coefficient. And that gets my x alone. My 1x is equal to 50. So if I would have defined my variable in the beginning as my first part, now I know my x equals 50, which is my first part, and I can find the other parts based on the mathematics that it asks me to do. So there you have. So my answer then would be first part equals $50. Second part equals $250 third part equals $85. And there we have it.